G'day guys, welcome to another high country trip. We are starting this one out near Omeo. Uh, so we went through Bensdale, come through Omeo, gone up Limestein, Lime, uh, Limestone Creek Road. And now we're gonna go up Cobberus Track. Uh, I've never done this area before. We've sort of had to cut trips short uh, when we have wanted to do this area twice. So we're going to try and cover a bit of this Cobarus and into the Murray sort of area and then head over to the Snowy River and do some stuff we haven't done over there. So we've uh, aired down on Cobarus track, uh, first touring trip on the suspension. I must say the drive up here on the freeway was much nicer uh, with, than the previous setup. So uh, that's a good thing. So yeah, we've aired down. We're only going to go a little bit further up on Cobras and find a camp here. We've been driving for about five, six hours. So, um, yeah, we just want to find a camp and kick back for the day. So let's get to it. We've literally driven, I would say, 10 minutes and found a really nice campsite. So we're not even going to bother driving any further. Uh, really open. It's near the Mount Cobras walking track. So... Yeah, it's a nice open grassy area with some hills surrounding us and trees and stuff and there's a little creek down there. So yeah, check it out. Okay, we've been here for a couple of hours. It's been good, it's been relaxing and now it's time for dinner and what are we gonna have we're gonna have some sausages um, and we're gonna have some baked beans and we're gonna have some potatoes in the fire I thought we we're gonna be driving for a lot longer to find a camp today so I thought that was gonna be the first dinner for tonight um, so it's gonna be nice and easy and we're just gonna basically stick to that so yeah we're gonna make it now. Well, dinner has started. We've got potatoes in the fire, in foil, just two. And we've got the baked beans on the grill. Just open can cook. It's a gourmet thing, as you can see. You know what I mean? Just that. This that gourmets Heinz beans. This that one for two, two for one. And uh, when that gets going a bit, we'll put the sausages on. So got sausages in the fridge. Sneak on. Sausages, Italian hot fennel sausages from, whoops, my good mate Carmine at Casalingo. So yeah, they're going to go on when all the other stuff's sorted, so just a bit of waiting time. Potatoes are up. I think underneath that burnt skin is going to be some wholesome goodness and the snags are almost done the baked beans are like gourmet cooking we're almost there people we're almost there happy <laughs> simple but delish bon appetito or as they say in Croatian Dobar tek. Morning of day two. <clears throat> Slept pretty good last night. Uh, had a bit of an early one. A bit tired from the drive up. So, yeah. We've gotten up. There's a few flies at this campsite. That's why I've got my little fly stick. And, uh, yeah. We've had some breakfast. Just a light one today. Muesli and milk and a coffee and some fruit in the muesli and uh, uh, 
yeah, we're going to pack up and hit this Cobras track and see how it goes. Uh, according to the new tracks app, uh, it's going to get hard pretty soon. So uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs>
So we're at the trig point on uh, Inji Goodby. That's how you pronounce it, I think. Uh, we're having some lunch. The views are pretty amazing out here. Um, we're at the top of a ridge. So yeah, it's nice, nice drive. Uh, again, this track's classified very hard, but uh, we've only just got on it, but if anything to go by with the rest of it, yeah, it's not uh, nothing too crazy. So yeah, we're gonna try and head down to the river and uh, find a camp there. So we're just stopping to have some lunch. So just stopped to take a bit of a photo and uh, notice the car's on a bit of an angle. So if you have a look in here, this is what my problem is because my coils aren't right at the moment sitting under the dislocation cone so I've got to jack it up and just push it back in Plans have changed. Uh, we aren't doing Inji Goodby on the river anymore. Uh, took a wrong turn after. Took a wrong turn instead of going down to the Inji Goodby river pit. Uh, went back onto the main road. And look, this will have to do, eh? snow river which is good because this is the way we wanted to continue our trip anyway so just uh, found a camp off of like a little random road off snow river road and set up here the ride on the river um, just kicking back and relaxing and his camp dinner tonight but basically all we're gonna do is relax kick back and then uh, from here we'll go into more into the snow river region and uh, explore some of the bits we haven't done so 
it's time to relax. Yeah, so it's dinner time. I'm a bit wrecked. Uh, it's pretty hot today. Had a few cans and uh, yeah, had a bit of a nap. It's really humid. So anyway, dinner time. We're gonna have some steaks. I've got some ribeyes and we're just gonna have that with some salad. So I'm gonna cook that on the grill. Um, yeah, we've seen a couple of kangaroos and wallabies while we've been here and uh, yeah that's pretty much all that's happened not much we're just relaxing which is what it's all about so I'm gonna go and prepare the steaks season them up a bit and chuck them on the fire okay we're pretty much prepped steaks actually nice pieces of meat just put some garlic powder vegeta Italian herbs, salt and pepper, and salad. Forgot dressing, so uh, just use some oil and mayo, salt and pepper. So we uh, will make do. I'm sure that'll be pretty good. It'll be like a Caesar salad sort of thing. So I'm going to whack on the steaks now. And there we have it ribeye with some salad, pretty basic ready to eat morning of day three uh, quite a human night um, until the cool change came through thank god uh, in the middle of the night we had all the vents and windows open so yeah when that come through it's uh made it a bit better so today we're gonna have some brekkie I might have a quick shower before we leave uh, and then heading over to McKillop's Bridge uh, I might try and stop into a little place called Seldom Scene to see if there's any fuel there top up the tank um, so yeah otherwise no real plan again just gonna take it as we come but yeah sort of now heading through I guess Snow River um, and, and, it's, and its area so there is a track that I've seen prior to this one where we tried to see if there's a camp there called Snow River track which looked like it linked onto one called Armstrong track when I look at uh, rooftop maps it says that one's been closed for 16 years or something and that it's a really hard track so shame that that's not open uh, we did see there was a sign there when we tried to go in there uh, that there's a gate so yeah that would take us right around and over to Dedic Trail which would have been nice but obviously they've closed it for some reason so we'll go the other way so just on our way to Seldom Scene gone past the Sugenbuggen schoolhouse never been here before so yeah pretty cool bit of sign There's a couple of the locals upkeep the place and 
and have a look inside. Pretty cool, pretty small for a school as well. But yeah, imagine uh, going to school here, would have been interesting. checkpoint uh, don't even think we're on the border so I don't know why they were there but they're checking for uh, all the uh, New South Wales and uh, Victoria border closure so yeah did not expect to see uh, police in the middle of nowhere uh, checking checking uh, whether or not we've come from New South Wales he asked us uh, had we have we been over the border I don't think we actually have so uh, when we were on Inji Goodby track, we did make a phone call and we realised that we were using the New South Wales towers though, but I don't think that we went into New South Wales. So either way, we're in the middle of nowhere. We've come in contact with hardly anyone or no one. So uh, yeah, pretty, pretty funny that. Here we are at McKillop Bridge, McKillop's Bridge. Um, 80 year old bridge. Uh, one time we've been here before we we're coming down Dedick Trail, which we're going to go up now and Branch flicked up and busted a fuel line. So we uh, Limped down the track luckily we were close to here and by the time we'd crossed the track the fuel had just about gone from the tank Luckily, I had 20 liter Jerry still full um, But yeah, that was our last memory of this place. Uh, it's really nice spot here on the Snowy River. The bridge is pretty iconic. Um, so yeah, just had a bit of a poke around and now we're going to go up Dedic Trail. trail for a bit now about an hour and a half and uh, it's I haven't got out of like high range um, pretty easy track nothing at all hard about it it's a pretty high speed track there is a nice little river section down here at the bottom it was pretty foggy and cold up the top other than that um, yeah I guess we'll get to this staircase on Dedix and uh, see how we go there but otherwise it's starting to it's about four o'clock we're gonna start looking for a camp so we will find something hopefully on this track we're at the staircase like they call it on Dedix uh, yeah, it's dry I think there's just some of these like mounds that you go up it's pretty steep but nothing crazy so we'll start doing it now
gefahren. It'd be probably a pretty good thing to do in the wet, eh? Why not get up the whole way? I mean, I've only, in, I did all that in second high, no lockers, no nothing. So yeah, that's, I think, that. That was the staircase, done. Didn't find anything on the Elmi Road, the one campsite that we did have our mind set on was taken. So if we keep going, we've come out to Varney's track, which will take us to Jackson's Crossing on the Snow River. I was uh, hopefully thinking we could do our two night wifey stay she, that's what she likes. This is a place where we can stay for two nights. So hopefully, we're, we're now on Barney's track heading down to Jackson's Crossing. I highly doubt that it's going to be free, but we're going to have to find something there because it's starting to get a bit later in the day and we don't have time to be fight around anymore. So we are heading down to the river. Through the river. Found a camp, not ideal, but we're all the way down on uh, Jackson's Crossing. We're along the Snow River there. Uh, there's like some side offshoot before the actual crossing. We've just found a camp here for the night. We are on the river, but yeah, sort of away from it. And uh, set up and just cooking some green curry. It'll be just a veggie one, a bit of rice, that's it. So we'll just, uh, yeah, kick back here and tomorrow we will try and do some of the other tracks that we haven't done on the other side of the snowy sort of bucking side. So, uh, yeah, just a bit of dinner, kick back. Morning of day four. Bit of a late start today uh, just kicking back because it's not going to be a long drive today so um, the next destination will be the two-nighter and then I'm thinking we're probably out of here so yeah uh, looking at either Betts Creek but they're saying uh, it's gonna have some rain and from what I've read they say don't go down that track if it's gonna rain because it's a prick to get out so, or there's another one. There's another one that's close by. I uh, can't remember the name of it. But yeah, we're looking to just short drive, find another, like a good camp spot and uh, <sighs> camp there.
crossing. I'm just gonna do the crossing to get to the other side. gone down this track we're way away from Snow River now um, and we've gone down we've just come along the road just looking for camps on the rooftop maps and just picked a spot gone down there look like it's in the middle of nowhere so we thought gonna be in luck as we're going down the river it looked really nice but it was jam-packed with campers there's a couple of other spots along the river that are sort of the same that we'd have to go down and have a look and sort of getting a bit over it uh, we've seen most of the Snow River stuff now, so uh, we're going to head into Orbost. There's a camp along the beach there, maybe. Doubtful, because it's holiday time and everyone's out and camping. Um, so we're going to go down there, and if, if there's nothing there, we're just going to go home, I think. So it's been good so far, but we'll go. We'll go into Orbost. Never been there before, so check it out. We went to... All boss had a bite to eat and uh, then we tried to get in, into this camp that seems to be sort of right on the beach. Uh, went all the way down there and uh, just before the beach there was this like boggy, marshy, like black soil bog sort of stuff you'd have to get through to get to I suppose where the camp is. Uh, with no trees. Uh, Properly winch off. There was only those sort of like tea tree stuff around the beach, um, and being on our own, didn't want to take the chance because yeah, I was chucking sticks down there and it was uh, very deep. So yeah, that's it for the trip. We're gonna head home. Um, look, we've covered the Snow River region, I think, a bit now. For the two trips we've done, pretty much seen the main stuff. I don't think, well, personally, I think the camping's a bit lacking in the area, uh, few and far between, uh, so it's, yeah. When I compare it to places like Nicola and Dargo and all around there, uh, there's, the camps are plentiful and awesome. We're here, it's like a lovely area, but just not enough camping, so don't know if I'll come back here in a hurry, but yeah, nice to see it, nice to have done it. Uh, that's it for the trip, so 
Thank you for watching.